I have I, a question. Well, I, yeah. I should start dating 21. Aside from <laughs> them not having so and so, what do they have then apart from the physical attractiveness? Yeah. yeah. Like let's say we find you that perfect 18 to 25 range. Sure. Like what else is there? Like the I mean, are you looking for a, for a lasting relationship though with this perfect 18 20 18 to 25 range? Sure. Yeah, like what's the goal oh, what of is the that? relationship? What's the perfect sure. I th- well, first off, I'm not I have no interest in one night stands whether that's with someone my age or with someone younger. Uh, sleeping with someone once to me is just a to- at least in my view it's a waste of time there's there's no I there's a whole bunch of reasons why but it's not worth it um, if I want to sleep with somebody I want there to be a continuity I want to continue mm-hmm. seeing them mm-hmm. um, so no it, it wouldn't be a short-term thing so eventually me. it's commitment but what gets That's you to goal, that commitment yeah. so yeah. what other things would bind you together to move forward to a commitment as like opposed to someone have, right? as opposed to just 30? a physical yeah. you know sex stuff how about who she is, her character? How about a man seeing that, hey, this is the woman that I want to raise my kid because she has good morals, she has good character, she cares about family and all of that. See, what these women are trying to do is they're trying to convince men that their their accolades, their success, their money, and all of that should matter to men. But it doesn't. We don't care about that. We care about the person, the character, and we care about the femininity, the nurturing, and all of that. All that money, all that success, all the accolades and all of that, those are things that women care about, not men. But these women keep trying to convince themselves and men that they that men should care about that. And we just don't. I mean, what is yeah, it but like? There, but like, what, okay, so a lot of people will say, well, a woman who's 31 is more established in her career and... No, but, let's just go back to the 18 and 20, 18 to 20. No, 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 but range. what I'm trying to say is like a lot of people will argue, oh, well, one of the benefits of dating a woman who's a bit older, she's more established in her, in her career. Men don't really care about that mm-hmm, because sure. I mean, we went around the table except for you. I think every single girl here said you want the man to pay. <laughs> oh, that that's that's a good example there, but you know, because if if it was the same and men actually cared about that in the same way that women care about it in men why would it be a problem for women to pay why is it such a big deal uh for men when when men are for women when men choose not to pay the simple fact is a woman's money is her money and a man's money is also her money because if you 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 get with these women they're not going to spend that money on you they don't care about that they don't they don't think that in their mind that you know a man is entitled to that but they think they're entitled to a man's money it's just not the same so why should men care about it when they know they're not going to get any benefit from it so like your your success women who like men you being successful doesn't make you more attractive to a guy like good for you like it's awesome if you're successful but your success is not a metric with which men will look at a woman and be like oh she's more attractive because of because of her success in the same way a woman would look at a guy who's a doctor and attorney and be like whoa okay that's kind of they might be more attracted to him because of the uh prestige that comes with certain careers or the wealth that he has because women don't share their resources with men in the same way that men share their resources with women Mm -hmm. so that's just i just want to point that out i know that's not the question you're asking that's just another reason why men are more inclined to date younger women and why older women who are more established in their career it's not like that's not an attraction trigger for men one for evolutionary biological reasons but also just because women don't really share their resources with men the same way that men share their resources with women but i I have to disagree a little bit because i think there's a lot of men that i've spoken to that definitely want a woman who is successful has a college degree things like that and it's not about necessarily financial but just like mental like they have their shit together they're do they they're not i I know i know a lot of a wife i think and if these guys are so great and they were the good person or a good guy for you why aren't you with them these guys just want to sleep with you ladies that tell you what's just what you want to hear look men don't want women that are clueless you know men want women that know how to be wives that know how to be nurturing and feminine you know that are going to be good moms you know those are the type of women that men want men don't care about that uh success and all of this type of stuff with women because the thing is, is that when women do these things to get so successful, all the accolades and whatever they got going on, all those things took them. It, they had to be um, very masculine to make those things happen. 
And the older they get and the more they do that, the less likely it is that they can pull away from that and not be that type of person in a relationship. You see what I mean? See, women have listened to this uh, um, fantasy and they're so focused on trying to be men that they actually start trying to think like men and they think that it's the same in reverse, right? They think that men want women that are successful, have all these accolades, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And men just don't care about that. See, what's happening is a lot of these women are getting to an age and they're crashing through that wall and then their biology starts screaming at them and instead of acknowledging that they wasted a lot of time and they didn't do things the right way, they want to start saying, well, you should just accept me for what I am because I'm so great and I have all these accolades and, you know, I make all this money. But the thing is, is that these women have known pretty much their whole life that men don't care about that. They just ignored it because they'd rather listen to what women tell them oh, than ahead. what men do. Oh, my God, bro. Wah, wah, wah. <sighs> Um, shoot, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying that I think that there's definitely a, a lot of men out there that want a woman who has, you know, got a college degree. She's, you know, got a great career, things like that. From the mental yeah. perspective, yeah, this you know, is... less about financial dependency or resources uh, from the man to the woman, but I... just about having a woman who has some level of intellect that they can have a conversation with. And that, you know, the woman's like, you know, definitely got goals and dreams and ambition. I think a lot of men like that. Yes. So it's kind of hard because really. for me, for me, yeah, for me personally, it's, it's a little bit hard. We met them. Brian, Brian, how old are you? 34. 34, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm 24, so he's 10 years older than me. But I think a lot of guys, at least around my age, do not look for that at all. Maybe. I'm 54, so I'm older than everybody on that stage. And I will tell you, when I was 18, you know, I thought a little different because I was definitely younger, but I had that same mindset. It doesn't change. It's a biological thing. Stop trying to fight against it, ladies. See, men, we don't really fight against our biological nature, but you do. And that's part of your problem. You get to this age now, you're trying to justify your actions. But if you wasted a lot of time, that's on you. You can't make men care about what they don't care about. It's as simple as that. Maybe if you're a little bit older and you're looking for a yeah. wife. 24 but... is a little bit too young to like look in. And your brain's for... not fully developed yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah. Wait like till 25. For a girl. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Now see that right there, what she just said, 25 is a little too young. That's the thinking that they have because they believe this, oh, 25, no, I can't get married. I gotta chase my career, I gotta chase my bag. This is another thing, see, this is projection. Now she's trying to project how she feels and how a lot of women feel on men and trying to say that you need to think about that. Look, anybody's smart, and if you're 25 years old and you have the means and the stability to be married, go for it. Don't waste time. Now, men can wait because men have a long shelf life. Men can still procreate. Women have a small window, and this is what they don't see. They wanna be like men so badly that they try to adopt all these things that apply to men, but it's never gonna to apply to women. It's a 25. It's a man with there But even then. <laughs> because even you, then, you know at the 25, majority, you're just finishing the school. I'm like. Yeah. You know, it's different than when you're 35. But I can speak even, I can even watch a chat. I can guarantee that nobody looks for that. So ha, this mm. is the thing. That's so how really about if your job. girl, uh, there's a 21 year and, and they, for example, are doing, let's see. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't say that they're doing, you know, just like, um, they're just like, in, not that influencers make a lot of money, but say that they were just doing maybe like, an OnlyFans thing and they want to get married, mm -hmm. you know, and they want to get yeah, married to I you. I mean, if you're doing OnlyFans. Wait, so, so, okay, but she's highly attractive mm -hmm. and say that there's there's this woman who has a PhD in childhood development, she's published, she uh, does um, a bunch of panels all the time and you know that she's going to be a good mother to your children. But she does OnlyFans. Neither one of those uh, two people that you talked about are good candidates because the OnlyFans, any kind of sex work is a no-no for a commitment. And any woman that has all of these accolades and these accomplishments and all this stuff, they're, they're a bad choice because they're seriously masculine. This is what women don't understand. Women like that are seriously masculine. Men don't want that. We're not attracted to that.
We're just not. Own the, the choices and the decisions that you make as a woman and don't cry about it at the end because people have been telling you what the truth is, but you don't listen. Offense? No, Wait, there's two okay. different women. So, so Wait, just like and she said earlier, she, it's not a detriment. Age. It's not a detriment either. So is it, does it, is it kind of netting neutral? Like it's not necessarily detriment or a... It doesn't, um, it's not, it's not a make or break. It's not so it's neutral. Necess- so well, you would choose. So what I'm saying is we don't search for that. It's not. Yeah. A so it doesn't matter so who's going to be the important. mother. So it's not, it doesn't matter who, who you don't care about who's going to be a good mother to your children. What does that have to, well, hold on, we were, we were talking about finances. No, yeah, I so know, <clears throat> but I'm saying like you guys literally just base it on, it doesn't matter what she does in her life, her intellect or her thing. No, we're t- I'm talking about money and finances. Yeah, we're talking about money. Yeah. Like I, you can be I smart know. and not that But don't. she said but she said a guy likes also should care about the intellect, her the degree well, and she, all she of that stuff. She listed multiple different mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm but focused on the exact topic of what we're talking about. Okay, but so what a, but but what about also Yes, women who are smart are attractive there. There you go. Yeah, I mean you don't you can be smart and not be a doctor. Well, I guess what other qualities aside from like so, okay. Like personality qualities, do you but guys look, look for? Well, okay, like, look, are women just like? Why do we have to ask? Or do you like to talk to them too? Are, we looking yeah. for? are women just meat bags, or do you like to talk to them too? No, <laughs> but like this, this idea. That <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Say well, that again. Say I that said, again. are women just <laughs> meat bags, meat. or do you like to talk to them too? Look, men don't want to sit there and debate with a woman all damn day and talk about the world news all day and all these type of things. Okay. I wish you ladies would get that through your head. Stop justifying your choices. Now you're trying to say, oh, these women that are younger than you are just meat bags. They're dumb. They're clueless. They don't have a right to be with a man that's worth anything. It's all because you wasted your time. I bet you when you were that age, you weren't saying that same thing about yourself. Stop shaming men for their preferences. It's ridiculous. Is that, that directed at me? Uh, no, I was just talking to Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. I, well, <laughs> okay, so as somebody who's actually, I, I'd say I'm kind of more on the introverted side, I actually uh, I actually do appreciate, like, I, I don't know, some people feel the need to, like, constantly be yapping. Mm-hmm. I'm actually totally cool. Like, I think a, a hallmark of a good relationship is comfort and silence, mm-hmm. not needing to have to be fucking blabbing all the time. So, but, of course, I don't want, like, a brain dead partner but like i also i mean this perhaps coincides with someone who's capable of talking a lot i don't want someone who's like very combat combative yeah that's a good point point. and so like peace is very important to me yeah um does that mean all intelligent people they talk a lot no not necessarily but this idea this idea that i need like i must have really deep Conversation. Actually, I. I do. I, I definitely. I, 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 love I, I will agree. I, I, I love it. I need yeah. deep connection. Yeah. I need smart person. We don't just spend intellectually. I need to be attracted. Like then I'm not. Even, I'm gonna walk away. Why don't you go talk to your girlfriends and have these long, deep intellectual conversations? Because guess what? Men have to deal with these deep, long, intellectual conversations in the world. We don't want to come home and have to hear that constant yap, 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 yap from our woman. It is what it is. And women that say this, and see, they're trying to be nice, but women that say this, all they do is talk. They never shut up. They always have something to say. They always have something to challenge. They always have something to question. And a lot of these women that are you know that have this type of a uh, mindset they think they're smarter than all men they're the ones that are constantly tell you i'm right and you're wrong that makes no sense you're insensitive insensitive etc 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 men don't want to debate with women period not like that i don't know if that makes, it makes you smart. To be smart i'm trying to think of the word hmm? it's introspective hmm. that's that's kind of what i look for hmm. but not necessarily smart like Oh, oh no, yeah, I've had experiences. Design. I've had experiences where you I'm like, smart. I've had experiences where I'm like, okay, let's, hey babe, let's put on a show. And she wants to talk during the fucking show. I'm like, <laughs> She's like what's that? Yo, can Who's we this? Just, what's going can on? Can we just chill? <laughs> just can, can we just chill and watch the show? Yeah. And it's, but why this? And why that? Well, what did you say? How did you say it? Well, what did they say? It's just constant yak, yak, yak. And men don't want to hear it. This is a byproduct, another byproduct of these super successful women. 
Because what do they have to do to get to that point? Run their mouth, debate over and over and over. And when they come home, like I said before, they can't turn that off. And it's just a bunch of chicken scratch in a man's ear. It's just like a big piece of chalk on the board. It's like Charlie Brown's, you know, womp, womp, womp. It's, it's like, be quiet. But a lot of women that have this type of attitude, they don't know how to shut up because it's all about debate, 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 debate. Everything doesn't have to have a big, long discussion. Women like to talk a lot. Women should get with women and talk a lot because that's what you ladies like to do is talk. And there's nothing wrong with that. But stop expecting men to be like you. Or like sometimes I, it's like, but um, no, it's not like I can have very good conversations with people of any age. Like this idea that, again, like someone who's young doesn't have a certain level of maturity. Maybe they they don't have certain life experiences, but I mean, I look, I, I'm sure we can all agree here. There's people that you've dated in your age cohort that are terrible people that are yeah, not sure. mm -hmm. particularly interesting or they're yes. so you can find good people, I think, at any age. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't know. I just, um, it's just a smokescreen. It's just an excuse. It's just another thing to throw at men and say, why are you messing with that younger woman? She's clueless. She has no idea what life is. That, that's all it is. It's just a smoke screen, period. They're smart people at all ages. There's people that are whizzes that go to college at 10 years old, 11 years old. Are they dumb too? Are they not intellectual? Age has nothing to do with it. It's just a smoke screen that these women try to put up to justify bashing uh, younger women. And the fact that men want younger women, that's all it is. Sounds like you're more willing to tolerate it from, you know, 18 to 25. And that's totally fine. That's totally okay. That's no, allowed. I don't want to tolerate. I don't want to really tolerate. Like, well, no, someone, like, who's a bad, no someone who's like a bad person or if you're weeding through, like if you're going to deal with the annoying things that come with any kind of person, he's more willing to tolerate it oh. from like 18 sure. to 25 years old. Oh, versus so she, okay, like, I mean, and that's, that's fine. That's all. That's all we were asking. Like well, what I'm other not, than I'm like her breedability for example. is like a selling point. Yeah, you know, but I'm I'm not going to tolerate a woman who has borderline personality disorder. I don't care how fucking hot she is. Yeah, no. But like... I just meant like talking through movies like a little bit. Like just oh, like little like harmless quirks. Sure, like, sure, sure. What's sure. a deal breaker for you that's like... But there are, but what I'm trying, of, there, there are some men that will tolerate like absolutely egregious behavior. Like what? If, if the person is attractive enough. And, that and the reason why these men do that is because they're desperate. And they live in a state of scarcity. They don't have a lot of options. Any man that's worth anything is not going to be dealing with that and putting up with that garbage. That applies to both men and women. Like that's if a person true, yeah. is attractive enough, they'll like overlook certain red flags. They'll like tolerate certain, certain behavior. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's really trying to get an Ariana Grande. For me, like if a girl, like if there's serious issues there, I don't care how hot she is. I'm not tolerating major, major issues. So you have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.